Step three of building your business happens after you have got your name sorted out and you've checked that all the social media platforms that are available and there are domain names available and there are no trademarks on that name that you have chosen. Once you get to this point now, you want to go to register all of the social media accounts and possibly buy a domain name if you want to for that business name. Now, there are a variety of different social media platforms that you want to register yourself for. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get a Facebook business page for your business name. You're going to also want to get a personal business page set up using that business name. And the reason why is because right now, Facebook reels through a personal profile are far, are getting far better of a reach than through a business page. Um, right now, the Facebook reels is like what TikTok was about two years ago where you can get a tremendous amount of views. So right at this moment, doing a personal page for that business name will be extremely beneficial. You'll also want to just register for Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, and any other platforms that you would feel would benefit you. If you want to do YouTube as well, make sure that you get the YouTube channel made for yourself under your name. It is best to just get all of the name, all of the social media platforms you can possibly think of and all the ones I haven't mentioned. If you know about one, just register an account for yourself under your business name so that's there and it's available for you because you can always keep it inactive or choose to use it at a different stage but nobody can steal it and impersonate your business if you already have it registered as you so my advice is just go right now make a list of all the different platforms that you can think of and just make a business profile for yourself under all of them and so you've got that under control. In the description below I'm going to put a list of all of the different social media platforms that you might want to consider creating a business profile for yourself on. So there are some that I haven't mentioned so far but I'm going to put them down below and you can just take a look at them and decide for yourself whether the platform will fit your business not model or not. And remember, you may just want to make one so that nobody can steal your business name and impersonate you later on. Having a profile ahead of time will save you a ton of hassle in the future. Next up, we're going to talk about creating a social media content plan, what you can do for ideas and how actually creating a content plan is going to help keep you centered on on track, especially when you are just in the beginning of building a, your business. So when that's available, it'll be ready here. Take care and have a great day.